What's up you guys? I want to share with you today my experience with a CO2 fractional ablative laser that I had done on my face just about a month ago. A CO2 laser basically is a machine that sends a beam of energy at your face. In our case, we had a fractional ablative laser, which means only columns of tissues were treated, leaving in between healthy areas. And that's important because we can heal faster and the downtime is significantly decreased. Now, this is a very serious procedure and you have to seriously consider the possible side effects. I personally was afraid of any infections that can happen with any surgical procedure. I was afraid of maybe an allergic reaction and I was personally afraid of the pain because I know I have a low pain threshold and I am a big wuss. That feels like <laughs> I can't, it's my blog. So I hope you're sitting down for this because it's about to get real. Confession time guys, this was one of the most painful things I have ever experienced in my life. But don't let that discourage you because the results that I experience are well worth it and you will have the same. About a week before the procedure, you have to stop using all Retin-A products and you need to be completely healed from any previous procedures such as microneedling or chemical peels. So I'm taking my acyclovir. This is to prevent cold sores. So I hope you guys can swallow big pills because this is a horse pill. Yum. <laughs> I took antibiotics to prevent bacterial infections and I took a cyclovir to prevent cold sores which many times happen when we work on the face or around the mouth. I just received wrinkle. the topical numbing anesthesia. It stays on for about half an hour and it should make me nice and numb. In the meantime, I'm signing my consents, making sure I read everything that I sign and that I don't change my mind, hopefully. After I took the antibiotics, I removed my makeup and they applied the topical numbing cream. They also gave me one oxycodone and some Versed for sedation and they took the before picture. At the end, I will show you the before and afters. And I'm glad I got to do this because many times as a doctor, we tell our patients that it doesn't hurt at all, they don't need any anesthesia and they'll be just fine. But I have to tell you, after going through it myself, I have a lot of sympathy and empathy for my patients. And now it's showtime. It's important to find a good dermatologist because this procedure can lead to scarring and burning. Hopefully you also get a good nurse and a good buddy to drive you home. Because as much as you think that you're okay driving yourself, believe me, you will be so loopy. All right, so you're gonna feel a little warm. Try not to move the bed, okay? One, two, three. No, no, no. Oh, shit. Let's try one more. Do you want Lappy Gas? It'll help. Yes! Uh, okay, yes. Lappy Gas. Holy shit. Oh my god. Well, everybody can see I can't. It's my blog. It was very painful. As you can see, this can be a very painful procedure, or at least it was for me. In addition to that, there's a significant downtime. At least seven days, you cannot wear any makeup. And for God's sake, don't do it for at least three months before your wedding or another important event. I'm gonna show you a couple of clips of how I looked in the first couple of days after my procedure. This is day number one after my laser procedure last night. I have to tell you, I had a great night, uh, no problems at all, but I was in pain yesterday during the procedure. So my level of um, pain threshold being low, I was very happy that they gave me all of the pain medications and sedation. So if you are like me, uh, go ahead and take them and be comfortable through the procedure. This is what I look like today. There's some redness, uh, brown discoloration, mostly around the eyes. Forehead looks pretty good. The face looks decent. And on the neck, there's more of a spotted look. I was really bracing for the worst and I thought it would be much worse today. I have no pain, tenderness. There's no oozing or crusting yet. Um, so I hope she didn't go too light because of my discomfort. So what do I have to do today? Basically every two hours I have to wash off my face. I have to apply vinegar soaks. So the way you make your soaks is you take white distilled vinegar and you drop two tablespoons of vinegar in a bottle of water. Then you mix it up nicely and you put the water over gauze. You wring out the gauze and you place it on your face for a couple of seconds every two hours. After that, you pat dry with a towel and you apply Aquaphor, which is your best friend for the next 48 hours. 
So as of right now, I'm feeling great. I had a, a very good um, first night and first morning. So I'll keep you updated tomorrow. Hello, hello. This is day number two. I had another great night. I slept like a baby. I have absolutely no pain, itching or discomfort. And this is what it looks like on day number two. There's more bruising and red brown discoloration. My right eye is pretty swollen and the neck has a spotted leopard look but other than that i feel fine no problems at all here are my before and after pictures you start to see a result in the first seven days after the procedure you see a luminosity and a brightness of your skin but most importantly is the phase two of your healing which happens up to a year later that's when the collagen that was stimulated and burned with the laser now it's remodeling and growing and you have that lifting and tightening that you've always wanted. This procedure really can help you with any blemishes you have on your face. And I'm talking about brown spots, red spots, large pore size, hyperpigmentation, red spots, acne scars, surgical scars, or droopy, saggy skin. Really, all of your blemishes will get better. In conclusion, I want to give this procedure a two thumbs up. The pain, the discomfort, the price and the downtime was all well worth it. Whenever you think of cosmetic procedures, you should think of it as a symphony, where the best results are obtained when multiple instruments play together in harmony. So whatever problem you have, it will probably not be solved with one procedure alone. But when you use multiple modalities, you will achieve the best possible result. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you enjoyed it, Give it a thumbs up and please remember to subscribe. You don't want to miss my future videos. And I'll see you next time. <laughs>